Welcome back. I'm going to talk about how Studio One handles audio compared to Pro Tools. Now in Pro Tools, the audio and the MIDI on the timeline is called Clips. And we can see the audio here. We've got exactly the same audio showing up here in Studio One. So they're side-by-side -side comparisons of what you'd see in both DAWs. Now to see any of the clips, we would come here to the clip browser here and we could go through and we see as we click on them they're showing up here. Now in Studio One the clips are called events and this is an event so that's the the hi-hats there on this drum kit. We go to the browser and we go to the pool and here they are. Now unlike Pro Tools when you click on them they don't show up in the pool but what you can do is you can right mouse click and you can go to the audio and you can say selecting pool and there's the clip there in the pool. Now how it also differs is if we, for example, come in, we're gonna zoom out in Pro Tools for a moment, and then let's, for example, chop this snare part in half on that bar there, and let's chop this snare drum part in half here in Studio One. Now what you'll notice is that in Pro Tools, those are now two separate clips, snare one and snare two. They've even been renamed there. Studio One handles it differently. This, they are still separate now, and you can still handle them uniquely, but actually it's using XML data to reference those clips. So it's not created two different clips. It's still referring to that clip, even though we've chopped it in half, and we could chop it up even more again. We could chop it there, if, for example, and double click, and still we have these are all independent clips, or events as we call them now in Studio One, and they are all referenced by XML data. Now what you can do if you want, if you wanted to create a separate clip of that, you could then bounce that in place, and now we see we have a snare, a completely separate rendered snare in there as well. So as you render clips, they start to appear, or bounce them, they start to appear in the pool here like they would in the clip list here in Pro Tools as well. So let's close our browsers. Let's talk about how we can handle the audio in each of these different DAWs. So in Pro Tools we for example could come to the snare drum here, we could right mouse click, come to Elastic Properties and then we could do things like change the tempo, the source tempo, uh, the event sensitivity, the pit, we could pitch shift those snares things like that, and that's called Elastic Properties. For that to work, of course, you have to have the Elastic Audio on in the first place, so that won't show up unless the Elastic Audio is switched on. We can, of course, also come in and we could change the gain using the clip gain line there, and that's the same here in Studio One as well. I'm just going to undo the last edit there, so we've got the same thing to look at. If we grab that here for a second, we can also adjust the clip gain there. Now again, how it differs in Studio One is if we hit the I button, we have a multi-purpose display here for the track. So at the top half of the display here, we've got the track information, uh, whether it follows the tempo or it uses time stretch, uh, whether it's in a group, which layer it is, if you've got layers and you've been doing some comping, whether the layers follow the events. We won't go into detail here now. We can also delay that as well. Coming down here, we also have the event. So we can have the file tempo like we saw in Pro Tools. We can speed up or slow down the event. We can transpose it, we can tune it, change the gain of it. And that's just like using the, the line there, as you can see it there. You can draw the fade in and fade out there. Of course, we do that on the timeline as well. You can turn the bend markers on, you can set the threshold if we've done any uh, tempo detection of that for uh, time aligning that on the grid. So let's close that again. So in summary, clips and the clip list, events and the pool. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next session.